Hello, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the foliage tool. So we have two main steps. The first step is actually creating the leaf, and then the second step is either creating a plant or using it as an IV generator. So opening this tool will automatically here create all these parameters. So we are now in creating a leaf. We can decide how long it should be. We can decide, for example, what the width should be. This ramp controls the size here, so I can, for example, do this, and then we can see that, that it will update. Then further here, we have some options here for the bending. So let's say I want to bend in the other axis. So I have a leaf like this now. Or you can bend this leaf like this. So you can start playing around with the settings. We also have options here for the cuts here on the side. Let's say I want to have them bigger. So we have a few cuts there. We can increase this or lower this if you want that. We also have here an option for final tweaks where we have some color reducing normals and a color for our leaf. Then we're going to switch to the next step, which is then defining if we want to have a plant or an ivy. So in this case, let's start out with a plant. So switch to plant mode. Now at the moment, you won't be seeing anything. And that is because we have to here add a cluster. So when I press the plus icon, it will now add a cluster of these leaves. Then I can, for example, here at the bottom, rotate them. I can change the positioning. I can increase the amount. I can also, of course, rotate them. We can scale them as well. Then I can just keep adding here with this plus icon more plants. And then you can basically create what you would like to see. What's also important to know is that we can also still go back here to the create leaf tab. And let's say I would actually like my bend here more like this. So we can still go back and forward between these different types. Then I want to use the IV generator. So here we have the IV. So I'm going to switch the method here to IV. Now, by default, it will not show anything. That is because we need to have an input model. So here I grab the pillar that is made by the edge damage tool. Then here in the IV options, I want to set an input. So I'm going to say world outliner. I'm going to say start selection, select the pillar, use selection. And now the IV will grow around it. Now, if you scroll down here, we also have a starting point. So let's take a sphere and scale it down. Then here, we're going to set this to world out outliner as well. I'm going to start selecting, select the sphere. And now the sphere is actually my point where everything should grow. So if I move my sphere up here, this is actually the starting point where everything should grow. Now we can here go to settings. We can play around with the seed. We can play around how far this should grow. So if I lower the range, it should only be localized here at the top. Then I can also increase the amount of branches. We also have the radius of the branch itself. We also have here some scaling of the leaves. So if you want to actually have smaller leaves. And again, we can still go back here to where we created the leaves. And we can make them actually more look like ivy. We can just start playing around with this and define where it should start. And we can here again increase the range like this. We also have here more options to increase the density, set some random rotations and so on. And that was it for the foliage tool.